With classes starting up again in the fall, every college student is making a shopping list, and on that shopping list, there will be ramen. Now, we at KDN think that ramen should be more than just a seasoning packet, so today I'm going to take you through four different recipes to make your ramen in your dorm room so much better. I'm Xander, and this is the KDN Kitchen. What you'll need, one package of ramen, any flavor, one can of tuna, and half a cup of shredded cheese. Pour two and a half cups of water into a microwave safe dish and place into the microwave. Cook on high for three minutes and then add the noodles to the bowl. Cook for an additional two minutes, then strain the water and stir in the seasoning packet, tuna, and cheese. Place the bowl back into the microwave and cook for an additional one to two minutes. Then stir until the cheese is fully melted and serve. What you'll need for this dish is one package of ramen, half a cup of shredded cheese, and three to four pieces of beef jerky. To make this dish, pour two and a half cups of water into a microwave safe dish and place in the microwave. Cook on high for three minutes and then add the noodles to the bowl. Tear the beef jerky into smaller pieces and then add them to the bowl. Then cook for an additional three minutes. Next, add the cheese to the ramen and mix until fully melted and then serve. What you'll need. One splash of milk, a half a cup of shredded cheese, one package of ramen, no seasoning packet. What you'll need to do is pour two and a half cups of water into a microwave safe dish and place in the microwave. Cook on high for three minutes, then add the noodles to the bowl and cook for an additional three minutes. Next, drain the water, then add the milk and cheese and stir until melted. What you'll need, one package of ramen, one small bag of jalapeno flavored potato chips. To make this, pour two and a half cups of water into a microwave safe dish and place it into the microwave. Cook on high for three minutes, then add the noodles to the bowl. Pour out the excess water, leaving about a third of a cup of water still in the bowl. Then crush up two handfuls of chips and mix them into the ramen until it's well blended. Next, cook for an additional three minutes, stir again, and serve. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the ramen. If you're curious about more, check out our blog uh, right here on this link somewhere below my fingers and hope to see you there.